Hi team, I'm Nick, how can I help? Hi, I'm Jess, this is Elise. Yeah. This is Rod, 60 year old male, found unconscious by us. Haven't got much more of a history on him. He's maintaining his own airway at the moment, breathing at about a rate of 14. Um, unpalpable blood pressure, but has a good um, carotid pulse. Yeah, excellent. He is profoundly bradycardic. There's his ECGs as a 12 lead yeah, and a 3 lead there absolutely. for you. Um, yeah. Maintaining SATs, um, BSL and temporal good as well within normal ranges. Okay, excellent. So just confirming, at least you're happy, still breathing, still, still can feel a good carotid pulse there. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so. Plans, uh, at least you and I, we're gonna roll Rod right onto his back so we can um, monitor him a bit more. I've got my non-invasive monitoring on my life pack 15. Then I'll start some uh, atropine and just in the meantime, can you start an adrenaline infusion for me, please? No problem. Okay. Your, your count, please. On three. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, and then I'll get uh, my monitor on my back and you know. Okay, Jess, is that adrenaline infusion still running? Yep. Yeah? Okay, it's been uh, five minutes now. We haven't really had any effect from that. So we failed the atropin and we failed uh, the adrenaline as well. At least can I get you to put the defibrillation pads on? Just in the normal deeper procedure. What we're going to have to do, Jess and Lisa, is we're probably looking at transcutaneous pacing him now. So I'm just going to run through a little bit of my checklist. Uh, Jess, you just keep that running. At least if I can get those defib pads on. So. Airway, I've got uh, nasal prongs and tidal CO2. Breathing, he's still breathing and he's got the oxygen on and we've got the SpO2 probe on as well. In terms of circulation, we have four lead ECG and my non-invasive blood pressure going every five minutes. So we'll just get that last one on there and then I'll start briefing you through how we're gonna run the pacing. Are we happy with that plan so far? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so the pads are on. Okay. If your pads are on, we're happy. Okay, Jess, we're gonna start the pacing process now. You can leave the adrenaline infusion um, running until we've definitely got mechanical capture, and you can hold it there. Um, at least what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn the pacer on, mm -hmm. and we're gonna get this uh, number up to 80, so I'm gonna try and pace at 80 a minute. I'm gonna choose that. Okay, so now I'm gonna move it up to 30 quite quickly. I'm gonna make sure we've got the pacing spikes running through. Now I'm going to start to increase the milliamps now until we get uh, good mechanical capture. So he's going to start moving a little bit as we okay. pace along. And start to accelerate up here. Still not getting electrical capture. Okay, probably getting close to the point now. Okay, we've actually got some uh, electrical capture there. All right, Elise, can I just get you to go and get, um, find a femoral pulse for me and try and see if that matches? And at the same time, I can see that the SpO2 pleth is uh, moving up as well to match that rate. Yeah. Femoral That's pulse is about pulse. 75. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna increase it one more to make sure we get sustained mechanical capture. We've got it there. Jess, we can lock that adrenaline fusion off now, but yep, we'll keep yep. it attached just in case. No At least can I get you to go and get the, uh, the spine board and all the extrication will get moving. In the meantime, I'm just going to reassess his ABCs and make sure we're all good. So, airway, we've got his uh, nasal prongs, end tidal CO2, still good there. Breathing, I can still see his breathing. I'll get a respiratory rate in a second, but we've got the oxygen on, the SpO2s, uh, pretty good as well. Four leads on. Pacing, definitely still got electrical capture and mechanical capture, I can see by the SPO2. Right, happy with the rest of that plan, Jess, for extrication? Yep. Okay, we'll get good. going. 